From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. Welcome to Weather in the Neighborhood. We are in Hatch Hollow between Union City and Wattsburg. Beautiful farm country behind us. The weather has been good. We had a very heavy shower before we came here, and it has passed, so everyone has moved outside. So we've got great food to move outside to. And uh, Cindy, what do we got here? It looks like peanut butter pie. We have our peanut butter pie, one of our favorites at the restaurant. So we brought that and a few chocolate chip cookies for the kids. Perfect. And our other sponsor, David from Complete Roofing Systems. I think he's looking for work here on this Yeah, boat. they did say they had a leak on this house, so I got some work to do after we're done here. <laughs> Is that perfect timing or what? Uh, but of course, it's the people, it's the friends, it's the families, it's the relatives, the in-laws, the outlaws. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Good. Good. Enjoying the food? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and Marianne, I gotta, I gotta say hi to you because we have known each other for, <laughs> for years. years. Yeah. You and your family have been sending me beautiful pictures, sunsets, snow scenes, storms from down here. How are you doing today? Real good. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you for hosting this. We really appreciate it. Yeah. And you've got a lot of wonderful people getting a free meal. Even from, from Bali. And, and right over, look at that lady in the white there. That, that's Carol. Carol Wave. She's my weather watcher from Union City. Calls me every day, every night. Thank you for your service because we all know you guys get your own brand of weather out here. And, and we love it. And we got kids eating the macaroni salad and uh, just a perfect time for a picnic. So thanks to Marianne and everybody else. Weather in your neighborhood from Hatch Hollow on a Wednesday after the rain. Back to Jacob with the forecast. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. That food does look pretty good. And now on to the forecast. We are seeing uh, a bit of rain in the area. Channel Locks weather camera showing Conneaut Lake. A bit damp over there with cloud cover. Also similar conditions over in Warren. It's a bit humid over on the Quick Fill weather camera. And that's all thanks to these cells of rain showers now moving towards the mountains region. But the bigger story is what's happening out into the Great Lakes. A huge swath of rain. Moderate to heavy rainfall over there. Slight risk of severe weather over there as well for tonight. But for tomorrow, that's all moving over to our area, especially for the inland and mountains regions. Biggest threats include damaging winds as well as severe thunderstorms, maybe a few chances of hail, so just stay indoors as much as possible. And thanks to our weather watchers, shout out to Liz from Cory, 70 degrees, it has cooled down a bit. We've seen temperatures reaching the low 80s in some areas, but thanks to all of that cloud cover and rain showers, we're now dropping down to the 70s. Some areas are now in the upper 60s, including North Meadville as well as Chandler's Valley. You may need a jacket for some of those areas, or maybe you don't. Who knows? For dew points, we are seeing uh, them in the mid to upper 60s, so you may not need a jacket because it is feeling a bit uncomfortable out there. And that's uh, given on the dew point chart right there. And we're also seeing temperatures. Well, temperatures have reached only the upper 70s. It could have reached higher, but because of all of the rain showers that we have seen today, 0.46 inches, it has not quite reached uh, the low 80s. And low pressure has continued to make its way into northwest Pennsylvania, along with those showers. What does that mean for us? Well, we could see showers erupting for tomorrow morning, so you could wake up and you might uh, hear some pitter-pattering outside your house, maybe a few rumbles of thunder, and then it's going to increase in chances later in the afternoon thanks to this cold front strengthening, and that's going to be the case especially for the inland and mountain regions, especially if you live close to Pittsburgh as well. So yeah, like I said, be on the lookout for damaging winds, falling tree branches, as well as a chance of hail. If you plan on going to Presque Isle tomorrow, I would definitely not recommend it. Seeing chances of thunderstorms and rain in that area. Avoid large bodies of water as well. For tonight, temperatures dropping down to the mid-60s along with rain showers along the lake shore. And over in the inland region, a few chances of thunderstorms. Similar case for the mountains region. Temperatures dropping down to possibly the low 60s, a bit colder away from the lake shore. Not really feeling that warm lake breeze in Inland, and we're going to see humidity throughout the weekend as well, seeing sh shower chances as well as thunderstorms rumbling throughout the area by that time. 